Hello and welcome back to yet another video. I am Darren, we are Mendit Cycling Club, although we are still in lockdown and missing everybody else. Um, that was Abby at the door, <laughs> pulling her face because I was going cycling without her. But we will definitely go cycling with her again. She was uh, so much entertainment. Right, today I'm heading over to Red Hill, the other side of Langport. I'm gonna try and take that on and see how I get on. Should have some fresh legs. So it should be a good, good punt up a 20% climb. There are a lot of cars on the road this morning, considering it's a bank holiday and nobody should be out because nobody's really working. Why are there so many cars on the road? I've read this morning that the AA say there's loads of people on the road and it's not surprising because you can physically see it this morning. We're on the quiet war road now on, to, on our way to Ham Hill. The sun is out, it is lovely and warm. It's another glorious day on the bike. Let's give it a crack, see how we get on. I should also have said that uh, if you were the guy in uh, Street High Street who shouted I was YouTube famous, please say hello in the comments so I can say hello properly. <laughs> Did make me laugh. <laughs> I'm certainly not famous. <laughs> I've come along Beard Road on my way to Alla, I think I am. So, which uh, I love this road for two reasons. One is a lovely, quiet road, very tree lined, just a nice road to cycle on. And two, it avoids Ham Hill. <laughs> I love hills, but for some reason, I will avoid Ham Hill at all costs. I don't know why. It's not particularly steep, it's not particularly long, but I'd sooner go around it than over it. Isn't that odd? Just odd. But then again, that's me. Properly odd. All right, the more observant among you will realise I didn't go to Walla. I went to Othery and down into Borough Bridge. That is the Borough Bridge Monument, uh, where supposedly King Alfred burnt his cakes, if you believe that sort of thing. It's also one of Somerset's monuments. They seem to have a fascination about building buildings on mounds with Glastonbury Tor and Bruton Dovecote. <laughs> Now this road from Borough Bridge to Langport really is a cycle superhighway. You always see loads of bikes here. It's a great road to cycle on. All right, so we're coming up on Red Hill now. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera away and switch to GoPro. We'll have a crack, see how we do. Feeling all right. Wind's in the right direction. No excuses. That's you further away from that bridge than I remember. I'm sure there was a 20% sign before we got there. I'm sure there was. It's Keith Lamb's favorite hill anyway. Yeah, there it is. 20% and the hill climbs. I don't know whether I've already gone through this start because it's a slight incline. So I might have to go back a bit and have another crack. All right, excuse number one. Sorry, I forgot to put the GoPro on <laughs> till at the end. Excuse number two. It's the only the second time I've done it. I thought it was shorter. I smashed it on the bottom and I died on the top. What I can remember is you go around a bend and then there's the summit, but there's a bend in the middle as well that goes back on itself again, like an S bend. And uh, when I went around that bend and saw it still growing up after that, my lungs were about to explode. That's my excuses. Still tried to push it in, but yeah, too hard at the bottom. Next time, I'll have a crack next time. Yeah, he wins, I'm not arguing with that one. It certainly is getting warm. He said 24 degrees today, I don't think it's far off that now. Somewhere near, I have a protein bar. Although, I've not been very generous with the slices. It's still like rice pudding. It is good though. So I'm just about to go up Snap Hill as soon as I've eaten my food. In fact, cold, that's a cross between bread pudding and rice pudding. And I've got more of that to go. Nice. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Sister-in-law's locked in lockdown, sort of in street, so I just come through the cutting. What are they saving, isn't it? They're from Yorker. Yeah. Bought them about three or four years ago. Always bring them back. But she's a beauty. Campagnolo Super Accord. Hey. Bora One Wheels. Yeah. Uh, 12 speed Super Record. Campag. When you're spending that kind of money on an Italian hand-built frame, it you've got to do it justice by having Italian components. And I thought, well, it is the best, the 12 speed Super Record mechanical out there. Well, you know. I got SRAM ETAP on mine, and I love my SRAM ETAP. Oh, yeah, they said it's good, yeah. yeah. It was the look of of the disc on it. I know it sounds real old school, yeah. when this is like the same, C64, 64 years of Colnago, it's the latest thing. It's such a it's, beautiful bike. Yeah, it such I, a beautiful I love bike. it. I mean, black and red. At the end of the day, is the best on a bike. Yes, look at the seat post as well. Flag at the oh, Italian flag. Yeah, that was some. Mendic colours. <laughs> Got to get out and ride it now, Joan. Fix those ribs. Yeah. I just love that. Uh, yeah. Fading of the red. Yeah, even that, that in there, little detail. Yeah. Are you keeping all right, Joe? Yeah, like you say, let's get over this rib thing. But like I say, I didn't go to the doctor, so I haven't put no no strain on the NHS. So where are you heading now? Let it go on. Uh, she's running there. Probably out, out that way. Drop down, where are you going to? I'm just going back down into Butley and home. Oh, right. Back for lunch. Yeah, we've got a VE thing at 2.30 in my road at home. Yeah, seen all the flags out this morning. There's, there's quite a few flags out. Yeah, it was nice actually, cycling through Butley and all the thing. Roxy. Yeah, even the cat likes my bike. Yeah, she's <laughs> happy enough. So, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I see. I keep watching the vlogs. <laughs> I had somebody, somebody shout at me in the street this morning, you're YouTube famous. I laughed. Who did? <laughs> I don't know, bloke on a bike. Okay. I'm far from famous with 80 subscribers, but here we go. Yeah. It's, it's, I do like the bit it's getting you, more. I like the part when you and Abby were calling those uh, the sheep. Keith. The lamb, one, <laughs> one answer. I did like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is funny. Cut sorted. Okay. Oh, well, enjoy your ride, Joe. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't be too long. No, but like you say, for me, it's um, this lockdown doesn't make a lot of difference. Really. No, I'm, I'm still at work. I'm still cycling. It's you've actually done more cycling than me. It's the uh, it's the cafes and uh, not being able it's to meet cafe. up with people in it. Yeah, really. That's right. Yeah, and riding. Like you say, you were on about motivation the other day. It is difficult. I mean, for me, believe it or not, just to motivate, to get out. For me, just a leg spinner and see how it felt. I've yeah. done a few light hills in Butley, so it's not too bad. Definitely need to get that mindset again. Group cycling. Group cycling, yeah. Coffee, cakes. Well, they might lift some restrictions on um, on Monday, might they? So it's Sunday, 7 o'clock. So uh, I, I'm not still not sure, even if they say you can go cycling again with people, I'm not sure whether it's, oh, right. whether it's crazy, the right time for us. What I don't understand is, I think with cycling, um, if it's two of you, maximum, it makes sense because two of you can easily social distance cycling and if one of you did have a mechanical you've got assistance or heaven forbid you had an accident it's safer i think yeah you know obviously yeah. groups of two or more yeah then people will take the mix hopefully we'll get some back well we're not going to get back no normality until no it'd be a while wouldn't it we'll be wearing masks social distancing for a while i think yeah but hey we're alive we're Amazing, alive, isn't it? We're alive, we're still riding bikes. Yeah. Right. Enjoy yourself, Joe. Yep. Have a good yep. ride. Cheers, See you again man. soon. Clipped in first time as well, look. <laughs> yeah, really, it's good to see you, Joe. Always good to see a familiar face. On my way home now. There are usually two feelings when you get back from a ride. One is either relief because you've done who have done it and you're glad to get home. And then there's days like today when you get home and you really wish you could ride more. Just disappointed the ride's over, but that's the end of the ride, 56 kilometers on the clock. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Great to meet up with Joe. 
he is a legend he's the legend of Mendip and uh, thank you for watching if you did like this video give it a like comment subscribe and click that notification bell to be uh, notified whenever I upload a new video but uh, I will see you again tomorrow will we see you tomorrow